Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the first Tempo Wild meta snapshot for Deadmines, the United in Stormwind mini set. We've been eagerly awaiting new cards to shake up the wild metagame, but did Deadmines deliver? Well, yes and no. Deadmines cards certainly did have an impact on our format, including cards like Defias Cannoneer, Mr. Smite, Shadowblade Slinger, Edwin Defias Kingpin, and most notoriously, Jerry Rig Carpenter. But does that mean that the high level meta has changed? Well, let's take a closer look. The first thing you'll notice from just looking at our tier list is that the top tier decks haven't changed much, at least on the surface. Questline Pirate Warrior, Odd Questline Hunter, Even Warlock, and Reno Even Warlock are still the top four strategies in Wild. But beneath the surface, we've seen some shakeups in the week since the mini set's release. One of the highest profile changes is the emergence of a powerful aggro druid spinoff that came to be known as Bug Druid, since it relied on an exploit of a bug with Jerry Rig Carpenter and Hidden Oasis to create huge threats out of nowhere. As of this writing, Blizzard has acknowledged the bug and planned a fix, so it might already be fixed by the time you watch this video. Our tier list assumes a world without Bug Druid, and in this world, Pirate Warrior and Odd Hunter still reign supreme. Pirate Warrior is on top for now, and it receives some serious upgrades with Defias Cannoneer and Mr. Smite that may just put Pirate Warrior over the top in terms of power. As for Odd Hunter, it didn't receive any new cards itself, but it's still strong enough against Pirate Warrior and plenty powerful against everything else. Even Warlock and even Reno Warlock round out Tier 1, again without any new cards from Deadmines. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So beyond Bug Druid, what else is new? We've seen a couple of other spicy new archetypes start to emerge that actually feature new Deadmines cards. One of those decks is Pain Warlock, which, depending on who you ask, might not be a new deck at all. Has the ghost of Dark Glare Warlock come back to haunt us? Today's Pain Warlock plays like a merge between Even Warlock and classic Dark Glare Warlock, and aims to play giant threats as often as possible, making use of old glare staples like Flesh Giant and Molten Giant, along with newer cards like Anetheron and Goldshire Knoll. New from Deadmines, Painlock also includes Shadowblade Slinger, a powerful new one-mana removal option that takes advantage of Warlock's self-damaging engine. This deck boasts a strong matchup against Pirate Warrior, and as a result, it's gaining more traction by the day. Another upstart card from Deadmines is Edwin Defias Kingpin, which is sparking a renaissance for Miracle-style rogue game play. The early Miracle Rogue builds that go all in on the new Edwin only clock in at tier 3 for now, but Edwin as a threat has huge potential that we can't wait to see explored. Do the Deadmines have any other potential meta breakers waiting in the wings? The mini set is still young, so there's plenty of ground left to explore. Will Mr. Smite be what finally pushes Pirate Warrior over the top, or will Pain Warlock rise up to counter Wild yet again? We look forward to finding out in the coming weeks. In the meantime, check out the full report on TempoStorm.com for all the details on today's Wild meta. As always, thanks for watching.